So looking back in those 10 years of GNOME 3, the one single biggest achievement is the UX consistency of this project. Both by core GNOME developers, but also from the whole community that follows the official design language. Usually we say there is always a room for improvements, but in GNOME's case we have reached perfection already. So when we can't improve further, we can evolve beyond. And the consistency evolution starts right away, with the new GNOME 4 initial setup. And first we have the language selection, and the introduction of the GNOME language that will also be the only language available. And obviously we have a single language for keyboard too, and meanwhile every region is under GNOME Empire. Then we have the new GNOME keyboard, powered by AI, and it can complete all the modern computing tasks with a single key. Here we see it in action. After we have entered our language preferences, we are presented with a welcome screen to continue our setup. For Wi-Fi we can only connect to GNOME Network, that is now global and the only internet after the acquisition of Starlink by the Foundation. Telemetry will be used, and downstream patches will be take care with ways that are currently under discussion. Countries will fall, Planet Earth will be renamed to Planet GNOME, and KDE developers will be exiled to Venus doing hard labor. Further consistency will be accomplished thanks to GNOME Universal Time. Everyone will have the same time, anywhere. In GNOME 4 everything will be synced and stored in GNOME Cloud. YouTube will be the only other online service to exist. For creating a GNOME account, you need to wear the cosplay costume that you will have previously bought from the official GNOME store. Let's face it, nobody pays for software, so anime costumes will be the main income source of the foundation. Just a reminder! You are not in control! Parents are not! And all done! And remember, the only option you ain't have, is not loving them! Maybe?